What's the most bizarre phobia which you've actually seen affect someone in real life? My mom won't leave her hometown. I have a daughter, and she came to visit me once, which apparently involved a lot of crying and pulling over to throw up. She won't do it again. I've heard of agoraphobia, but never anything quite like that. Basically, if she's away from familiar surroundings, she sort of loses it. I don't even know if it's a real phobia. Yup, that's agoraphobia. It doesn't just have to be crowded places, it can be anywhere you don't feel at home. It only confines you to your actual house when it becomes really severe. Source, I totally have that crap. It sucks. My GF is terrified of fish, won't eat anything that came from water, generally won't go swimming in open bodies of water, occasionally tries and has panic attacks if a fish touches her. There are spas where you put your feet in pools of water, and tiny fish come up and eat the dead skin from your feet. My ex, 5 year relationship, was deathly afraid of touching or drinking milk. She once had a small bit of milk splash on her while putting some dishes into the dishwasher and she literally fainted on the spot, landing on top of the open dishwasher door. Luckily for her, there were no eating utensils in the utensil rack in the front, or she might have been stabbed, or maybe just badly gouged by a spoon. The weirdest thing about it was that she could get other dairy products, such as yogurt ice cream, on her and it would not affect her, even though those products are mostly curdled milk. She also had no problem eating food that had milk as an ingredient, such as instant mashed potatoes, which call for milk. My biggest question for her was always how are you going to handle getting pregnant and lactating? You are going to be carrying around two warm bags of milk with you all of the time, and will most likely get a lot on you, all of the time. She did plan on having kids. Since an infant, my cousin is terrified of fruit. Even before he was able to speak, he somehow could look at something and realize it was a fruit and he'd be absolutely terrified. He's 12 now and the phobia persists. Banana, apple, kiwi, any shape and any size. He is afraid of fruit. I have two words for you, my friend. Banana suit, you know what you have to do. I work with someone who is deathly scared of going over bridges. This is rather unfortunate, since we live in a part of the country which it is very inconvenient to travel to from without going over a big frick off bridge in the north or an even bigger frick off bridge to the south. She has to do a massive detour to the west to go pretty much anywhere. Turns out my girlfriend is the same way. I discovered this as we started crossing a bridge in Louisiana, the Poncha Train Causeway. Yes, I discovered this about 300 feet into a crossing of the longest bridge in the world. We took 55 back. I once knew a guy who would ardently avoid wearing clothes whenever he could because he was convinced that they might suddenly tighten and swallow his body. That is terrifying. My neighbor growing up was horrified of turning left in any way. She'd make a series of right turns to drive absolutely anywhere. On foot she'd do this weird loop like turn where she turned to her right and do 75% circle to be able to go left. Other than that, she was completely normal and very cool. She's not an ambitioner. A girl I used to hook up with was deathly afraid of midgets. I didn't find this out until we were at a bar and she came up to me crying and shaking, pointed at a little person who had just walked in, and said we have to go. Now, I started cracking up. This didn't go over well. So am I. I can see a midget, even on TV, and immediately break out into a sweat. I'm getting better, though. I started watching Game of Thrones, and it took me a while but Tyrion is now my favorite character. Progress. Freaking pigeons. Someone went absolutely freaking hysterical over a dumb bird. No other bird. No other flying thing at all. Just pigeons. And when I say hysterical I mean screaming. Arms waving. Running into people. Away from the offending pigeon full on mad panic. My GF has this phobia. I know this is gonna sound terrible, but it's kinda cute when she freaks out. She hugs me and it just feels good. All I have to do is scare the bird away and I'm like the superhero. My ex-housemate is terrified of balloons. Every party or event with balloons is a nightmare. She literally runs out of the room. I guess it's because she expects them to pop every second. She also hates the feeling and the sound of rubbing one. I'm afraid of cotton balls. 
It really only affects me when opening bottles of medication or during arts and crafts, but in high school people found out about it and used to leave cotton balls on my desk. And by people I mean one kid named Joe. Frick Joe. While common, I find it painstakingly irrational. I have a fear of heights. Every time it starts with hand sweat, then my legs slowly become heavy and will eventually lock up. The whole time I'm telling myself, hey N, gravity is holding you here. That's when I, after years of not knowing, realize my fear is actually of my jumping from whatever height I'm at. Like I will somehow propel my body uncontrollably off the ledge. I hate IT make IT stop. L Apple Divide French. Translates literally as call of the void. The urge some people get to jump from high places when they encounter them. For example when close to the edge of cliffs. I know a girl who is afraid of collections of small holes. So pumic stones, sponges and aero chocolate are no ghosts for her. Not sure how often in day to day life it would affect you though. I'm not afraid but they make me seriously uncomfortable. In elementary school, there was this one kid that threw up if you told him the pudding he was eating was cheese. You'd think he'd stop bringing pudding for lunch at some point. Or maybe his parents were in on the torment. My sister is afraid of deer. While they can be dangerous while driving, she screams bloody murder if we see one while walking if it's within 100 feet of us. I'm terrified of people touching the inside of my wrists and my kneecaps. I'm afraid my veins will explode or my kneecap will discombobulate. Yeah it's stupid, but still. I have the wrist phobia too, and the inside of my ankles. I hate needles and veins as well. When people start talking about wrists or blood I have to excuse myself or I feel terrible. I'm terrified of taking a bath. Showering is just fine but taking a bath scares the crap out of me. I got really sick in the 6th grade, had a really bad fever, and spent the better part of a week hallucinating. At one point when I was particularly fricked up, my mother put me in the bath and I hallucinated myself being sucked down into the drain and then everything was black. It was pretty much the worst and I was pretty sure I was dead because there was only nothingness. 10 years later, my girlfriend at the time thought it would be romantic if we took a bath together. We got in and I flipped the frick out. TL. DR. If your kid has a high, sustained fever and is hallucinating, take him her to the hospital. I don't think I hallucinated, but once I had a fever so bad I couldn't remember what year it was. I had to ask my mother and that didn't seem to alarm her at all. My Korean friend's mother was insane about leaving fans on and in the house. I never understood it until I was older and had internet and read about Korean fan death. Crap is hilarious. I personally feel fan death is freaking hilarious, but I never know how to discuss the topic in public. It feels like bashing religion in public because you single out a single group of people for their idiocy. I can't stand it when characters in movies or TV series get into an embarrassing situation. It's totally unbearable for me. Physically unpleasant. I have to pause or cover my eyes. This makes watching situational comedy quite hard for me, which is a problem, because I like to have a good laugh. The effect however ceases to show itself if I am more familiar with a character, e.g. if it's a long running TV series or a sequel to a movie I've watched. So I guess Michael Scott is not one of your favorites. I'm absolutely terrified of ventriloquist dummies. My family thought it would be funny to make 3 year old me watch Night of the Living Dummy and it scared the crap out of me. This has led to several uncomfortable situations. In grade 2 there was a ventriloquist show at my school. I had a full blown freak out and ran screaming and crying out of the gym in front of the entire school. Also, when I was 18 we were drunk at my friend's house and somehow got on the topic of phobias. He disappears for a few minutes and comes back with a freaking ventriloquist dummy. He proceeded to chase me around with it for about 5 minutes until I was hyperventilating and crying so hard I passed out. Also my best friend is terrified of any sort of pickled food. Dude, valid freaking fear. Dummies are creepy, as are puppets and those Punch and Judy looking characters from Mr. Rogers neighborhood. They look alien. Amaretto. Like the liqueur. My ex-housemate was genuinely frightened of amaretto. Wouldn't allow a bottle of it anywhere in the house. 
and if he was in a coffee shop he would literally shy away from an amaretto biscuit and make whimpering noises. Never did understand that. I know a girl who has a physical reaction to dress style buttons. You know the semi-transparent kind on shirts. Her hands get sweaty and she gets the chills. She can't stand them or be near them for some reason. Vomit. I can stand blood, gore, compound fractures and even the octomom porno but vomit just sets me off. I get nervous and panicky if I hear or god forbid see somebody vomit. My auntie has a phobia of bananas. If she sees smells one, she has panic attacks. For her 40th birthday last year, my uncle made her a card with a pop-up banana in it. But she opened it, fainted and smashed her head on the floor when she fell. It was the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. I love imagining this ignoring that fainted was a type. I imagine her fake dodging the card or something and falling and hitting her head. I have seen my girlfriend fight off an angry monkey, go after massive spiders, but she can't stand to see even an image of a frog. Please tell us the monkey story. My mother had a student who was afraid of peacock feathers. She wore a pin to school one day that had a peacock feather on it and the kid absolutely freaked out and had to be taken out of the room by another teacher because she wouldn't let my mother near her. The BF thinks his phobia of mine is weird, I cannot stand to have my legs covered or underneath anything. Occasionally while he is sleeping or cuddling or whatever, he throws a leg over mine and I freak out. I feel so confined and stuck and I start panicking and hyperventilating till he moves or I can push his leg off of me. I almost never sleep under the covers if they are tucked into the bed either because I start getting that trapped feeling. I hate it. One of my previous girlfriends was cripplingly afraid of wooden utensils. I was making a nice Italian dish for a romantic dinner and it was ruined by the fact that I was cooking with a wooden spoon. Fruit. My friend is afraid of fruit. She was eating an avocado once and I told her it was a fruit. The look on her face. My friend's ex-wife was scared of midgets. She worked in a funeral home as an embalmer. She had a little person come in and she wouldn't touch him. My housemate is scared of birds. She won't park her car under a tree for fear it's pooed on by a bird. I do the same, but my fear is spiders dangling down and racing across my windscreen when I'm driving. Even though I'm sure that it's unlikely a bird will fly into my car when I'm driving. I never crack my window more than 2 centimeters, just in case. So one of my friends from college is afraid of unmelted cheese. Yeah I know. I didn't get it either. I found out while we were eating lunch in the cafeteria. So after quizzing him on how he tolerated pizza. He doesn't know. His feelings on cream cheese. It's fine. And easy cheese cheese whiz. Also makes him uncomfortable. But for different reasons. I did what any sarcastic. Cynical butthole would do. I pulled the piece of cheddar from the uneaten half of my sandwich and flicked it at his face. It stuck gloriously on his cheek, with a corner dangling quite nicely in front of his vision. Now for context, I have accidentally stepped on a 4 year old girl's pinky toe one time, and to this day, I have never heard such a shrill, piercing, blood curdling scream. He stood bolt upright and scrambled arms flailing over his head because I'm on fire out of the calf. On the way out he even full on cartoon collided into a pillar, knocked over a chair, and pushed aside a girl that came rushing up to make sure he okay. I would have felt absolutely dreadful had I not been laughing so uproariously. Word is he spent the next hour in the shower, he still won't let me live it down either. Not sure if phobia is an extreme religious behavior but, had a worker on the docks who was opposed to looking at women. Fear of being tempted. He had a brim cap pulled right down to his nose all of the time. Had to look up at the ceiling so he could see what was in front of him. We had women in the warehouse, but if one was called to work within 20 feet of him, he would jump off of his platform and go outside. The work be damned. Very strange. He's done some stuff. Most people don't know this, but I absolutely hate kissing. I find it disgusting. The mouth is such a dirty place. I also hate the sounds that come from kissing. Irony of this situation is that most of the girls I've kissed have said I'm awesome at it. Little do they know I'm trying not to gag the whole time. I can't stand seeing other people kiss. Something about the sounds they make just grosses me out. I don't mind doing it. 
just hate seeing other people. My friend is terrified of wrists. I get that some people don't like veins and stuff, but she would freak out if I were to jokily bite my wrist, or rub my wrists together. But she literally hates it. I've been hit many a time for messing with her this way. I am too. Trust me, don't do that. Just don't. I have a friend who is completely terrified of characters at amusement parks. You know, like Tigger, Winnie the Pooh, and Mickey Mouse at Disneyland. She insists that Eeyore attacked her when she was a kid, and she won't go anywhere near them. When she is at Disneyland she will keep her eyes on them and walk a wide circle around them so they don't come within 15 feet of her. If they get close she will hide behind me shaking or quickly make a getaway. One time, before I knew this, Tigger was just coming out of the break area and came up behind her. I saw him but she didn't. He reached out and gave her a hug and a kiss on top of the head. She screamed. Flailed about, Tigger released her in surprise. She looked at him and ran in the other direction. I wish I had video. Girl I knew was deathly afraid of moths. She would burst into tears and huddle down in a corner if one was flying around. She got involved in a prank war with a teacher, and as a final blow he taped a large moth to her car door handle. She flipped, had to get someone to take it off, and waited about a half hour before she could get in seaweed or anything that grows in lakes, ponds, etc. It's so absolutely ridiculous but I can't help it. Anytime I'm in a boat and look at it or swimming near the weeds in a lake I have a full on panic attack. Hyperventilating, shaking, heart pounding out of my chest. Odd enough though I have no problem if it's floating or out of the water. I've tried to get over it. I've even gone scuba diving in a lake to try to condition myself to control freaking out. One Halloween in college my roommate and I waited until the last minute for our costumes and decided to go to this rental place to see what they had. We found two amazing Easter Bunny outfits complete with massive heads and absolutely no one but us knew who we were. We had some friends over to our house to pre-game and decided to hop around in the bushes as people arrived. One of our lady friends was approaching the house and we were behind a tree peeking out at her and hopping around. As soon as she saw us she completely froze in terror and had a serious emotional breakdown. Even after we took the heads off and told her who we were she was hysterical. Apparently she was absolutely terrified of human sized rabbits and spent the rest of the night bawling. My brother is afraid of kiwi fruit. He says, they have no business being hairy, if they can grow hairs, what can't they do? He also hates big mushrooms and is afraid that if he puts his fingers on top of one it will snap shut and eat his hand. He's 23. I always had a fear of dropping my keys down the elevator shaft and the hole between the elevator door and the floor. One day it actually happened. I looked at the guy next to me in disbelief, and he said, I've never seen that happen before. This kid in my high school was deathly afraid of bananas. We never got an explanation out of him, but a friend once saw an abnormally large banana from my lunch and said dude let me have that, I have to show you something. So I gave it to him and he walked up to this kid and showed him the banana and he ran. The fear in this kid's eyes was unlike anything I had ever seen. He looked like he was going to cry and kept saying dude keep that away from me I'm serious this isn't funny. Needless to say we surprised him with bananas randomly for the rest of high school. TLDR bananas. Maybe he was molested with bananas. In my high school econ class there was a kid who was afraid of stickers. One day a few friends put them on his desk and you could just see the fear in his eyes. I had a buddy in middle school who told me he had a fear that his genitalia would, for lack of a better phrase, retreat into his body if he got too cold or was too frightened. He probably made it worse by being frightened by the prospect, as an aside. My fear of heights seems rather pedestrian all of a sudden. My sister is terrified of throwing up. This has severely impaired her ability to just be a dang person. Over the past 6 months it has spiraled quickly and she has become this sniveling person who refuses to even leave the house. She is afraid a car ride will give her motion sickness. Or she might have a case of allergies which will make her sinuses act up potentially causes mucus to drip down her throat and possibly make her feel sick to her stomach. She also had several months where she wouldn't eat because it might make her feel sick, though her newest medication makes her hungry as a side effect. She is seeing a psychiatrist. 
I used to be in the army, and one of the duty positions I held was S1, personnel officer, I hated it, needless to say, nothing but pushing papers and endless hours behind a desk, working late one night, after most of my clerks and co's were gone, my battalion exo walked in and asked me to expedite his leave papers. I had gotten my clerks to train me on the proper process and how to record everything properly, so I got the leave log out and put in the correct code on his leave form. The way it works is that you put in a control number once it is logged, and this number is incremented by one for each leave processed. It so happened that my exo's control number ended up being xxxxxxxx666. X's are just a placeholder. I finish logging it and go into his office to give him his copy of the leave form. He looks down and just about flips out. I found out he's deathly afraid of anything related to demons or vampires. As in, he wouldn't watch the movie Blade, anything with the devil in the title, and so on. He completely freaks out and makes me give him a new control number, just so it won't have the number 666 on it. It was odd to me that one of the few senior officers I worked with and respected would so completely lose his crap over something so minor. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.